a doubt asked by a student it's a pretty easy one and you should get it immediately kind of thing right so try it you should ideally not need this video so there's a total of five mines in this five by five grid such that there's exactly one mine in each row and one mine in each column this is what makes it really very easy so the columns are denoted as c1 to c5 rows this and there are some numbers given now we can see that the cell r2c2 has two written in it it means there are two cells with mines among the cells that share either a side uh, with c r2c2 so they would share a side so these are the sides so one two three four or are diagonally opposite so diagonally opposite these so the, the adjoining ones there are two cells uh, that have a mine there are two cells with a mine the cells with a number written in it do not contain a mine so the ones that have the number don't have the mine okay and this diagram is partially filled and other cells either contain a mine or contain a number if there's a number there's no mine and the number denotes the number of mines in the adjacent cells right so seems carry uh, ca uh, you know only if you're a very beginner it can put you off otherwise it's very straightforward so it will get over even before i start yeah? so watch out for this right so uh, obvious the start is obvious this is a three uh, why obvious because this tells me most number of mines are there so in the adjacent there's no mine here there's no mine here there is no mine here because there are number so one two three four five now in these five three of them have a mine and remember each row has only one mine so if you take these three there can be only one mine amongst these three only one so where can the other two be have to be here so you know that this is definitely a mine and this is definitely a mine right and the moment you get two mines cross out the entire row because there cannot be any more mine in that row cross out this row cross out all the column also that cannot be so there cannot be a mine here okay cross out this column there cannot be a mine there cannot be a mine here also so obviously here there had to be one mine that can't be there so has to be here you got a new mine cross out the rows cross out the columns right that is very important so already three mines are placed you just need so that's that's all that you can do with just the three so now focus on the others and you'll get your answer right this two doesn't give too much the two mines are present there's nothing else in the adjacent ones great this two also doesn't help these are the two mines adjacent and nothing else but this two there's only one mine adjacent and the others are all crossed out so this has to be a mine and if this is a mine this can't be this can't be and so the last one has is only this is left so obviously the questions will also be about the number so if you want me to fill in the numbers and you need to be careful so if you take this there is adjacent one mine nothing else so there will be a one filled in here if you look there's one mine over here look at the adjacent yeah be careful errors is going to happen when you fill in the numbers right so the questions are definitely going to be about the position of the mines and also about the numbers so this will again be just one mine okay so for example if i take this cell there are two mines over here right so this is going to be filled with a two this will also be filled with a two and so on fill in the rest anyways i don't have the questions to the set right and just a update uh, our live class course where we teach live the batch number eight and this is the last live batch students yeah will not be having a full-fledged live course for that starts on the 24th of june so if you are very serious about cat and you want some classes where there's very serious fundamental teaching and no nonsense uh, other stuff then you can consider joining this batch the this uh, link to the course description and where to purchase it is in the description thank you